over the top, amazing. You see all the new toys. You can test them hands on. It's gigantic. Yeah. Huge. I started out with Nikon when I was 14 years old. My first camera, six, the 601. I love the brand. They've been reliable. I've been out in the wilderness in many different tough locations, the Arctic, and they always work for me, so no reason to change. When we were out on this shoot, one of the cameras was actually totally frozen, and one uh, woman over there just asked me, you know, how did you actually, uh, like, did it actually work afterwards, or how did you get to work, uh, make it work again? And I think that ruggedness is, is what represents Nikon. When we got the first call, we were actually out on the BC coast filming. Actually, you were there, my wife was there. We couldn't quite believe it. Imagine to be the first to use that camera in the field is just like an absolute dream come true. It was for unreal, a, like, yeah. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> The camera overall like, is the first full-frame camera, so all the amazing wide-angle lenses would work with it. To film with it was very important to me to make a powerful film showing the capabilities of the camera. Yeah, and you, you now have the time-lapse feature, which is an amazing feature, which you could also see in the video. And yeah, as you said, we, being able to shoot great um, wide-angle shots, landscape shots, but also have that 5.5 frames a second for wildlife shots. So it's a all-in-one camera kind of thing. The absolute perfect all-rounder. Yeah, there's there's this one comment that has a lot of uh, uh, clicks that says two brothers and a hell of a big production team. And, that always makes us smile because it's a huge compliment, of course. And you realize people didn't really believe it. And how is it possible? Because you can see the two of us in there, and, and at the same time, you know, who is moving the crane, what's happening, and it was just intelligent cutting that, you know, and you were often moving the crane. Exactly, we had to, we had to place the camera somewhere often and uh, then walk through the framing or, or for example, only one, one person actually drives the car, the other one moves the crane yeah, and yeah. stuff like that.